Let's say you wanted to make a background transparent so that you could change what it looked like or if it had a white background you wanted to remove a white background from an image. So what we're going to do is find an image that we would like to remove the background from and then remove it. We are inside of Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop this tutorial will maybe not be as helpful for you but this goes pretty quickly. So we're going to grab an image from somewhere online that we're allowed to do that. Wikimedia is a great place to do that. If you've never done that before you can go to the Wiki Commons, Wikimedia Commons, wikimedia.com. We do that here from the Wikimedia Commons. We'll do a search. Here's the picture of the day, so we could remove some background out of that one. Let's just do a search for fire. Let's say we wanted to use this lighter image, and we want to obviously research the information about reusing this image. Most images can be reused from Wikimedia as long as you pay attention to the permissions around the file. So let's say we want to copy this image now. So I just right click and copy the image. It might be slightly different in your browser. Create a new image file. So you go ahead and click OK. And then into this new image file you can go ahead and paste what you did, what you grabbed. So now we've got this lighter and it's got a white background. It's got some shadowing around it. Maybe we want to remove all that just so that we can have just the lighter. So we're going to go layers and you'll see there are two layers here. First we want to remove this background layer. So you do that to just double click on it and then go ahead and click OK and then you can either right click and delete the layer or just press your delete button and that's going to remove the layer. Now we're going to use a tool that is really a nice tool, magic wand tool and up here you can set the tolerance for the magic wand. So you can see pretty much it's already selected this line properly the way I would like it selected but it's having a hard time here underneath. Well we can press the shift button and while holding the shift button you'll see it changes the option up here when I press the shift button and what I want to do then is hold the shift button and left click and it's going to give me the option to select more of this image while I do that. Again I'm going to click in here, clean up some of these spots, make sure that I'm getting close to the lighter where I want to be. You have to do this kind of carefully because you might end up getting rid of more than you want. So as you're doing it just go carefully along there. Alright, so I've got it selected like I want it. And then what you can do is you can even add another layer. But before I do anything else here, now that I've got everything selected as I want it, I am going to press the delete key. When I press the delete key, it removes that and makes sure that this image is now on a transparent background. And now I can do all kinds of things. Let's go ahead and add a new layer and we can drag that layer underneath. And I'm going to deselect any layers. You can do that by pressing Control. D, or you could also do that by uh, going when you're selected on something you can select and then deselect here. And then on the layer that I've got, this new layer, not on the lighter layer but on this new layer, I'm going to paint that. So I just select the paint bucket and then I'm going to pick a color, let's just say like this bluish color, and I'm going to go ahead and paint this layer behind and now I've got a lighter on a blue layer. Now we'll probably we'll want to go along and clean up some of this stuff because I didn't get a real clean line there. But the other thing you can do to kind of blur some of those lines is you can go back to your layer here and on that layer you just double click and then you can add some things like you could add a little inner shadow to it that kind of cleans up the edge you can add a little drop shadow so that it is a little bit less there and then you can go back and clean it up more but you can include some of these options and depending on what you've already done on the layer it will just make it much more clean so we'll probably still need to go back and clean up that line just a little bit but that is how you make a transparent background on any image and you can see all I have to do is turn off this layer and I have made a lighter with a transparent background. This has gone very quickly. If you want to spend more time and be more detailed, you'll get a much cleaner edge than I did during this short video. But that is how you make a transparent background in Photoshop. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up below. Be sure to subscribe as we have more helpful videos almost every single day. If you have any questions that we can answer for you, please be sure to come and visit us at showmehowtodothis.com.